was just saying to Josh, this is our best day of sailing yet since we've owned Pacific Star. 13.8 going down a wave. Oh. <laughs> Got tropical cyclone Gabrielle and she's traveling around. It's gonna be a cat free. About three metres away from their main road. Here, glitches with Navy on each side at the moment. We are not getting stopped. <laughs> I do not fancy getting eaten alive from sand flies. I'll be pulling in a helicopter to pick me and Zara up and staying in a hotel and you can sit it out, baby. <laughs> Follow us on our new adventures on board Sailing Catamaran Pacific Star. Left Percy Islands around 1.30 this morning. I was already awake, so I've been on morning shift and been having this guy up all morning is awesome. We we're sitting on about roughly five knots, but it's dropped down to about 4.5. But yeah, it's been a really beautiful morning and the sun's just coming up, so I'm gonna enjoy this. I was just saying to Josh, this is our best day of sailing yet since we've owned Pacific Star. Just perfect conditions for a sail. We've used a spinny car since about 1.30 this morning and it's about quarter to three in the afternoon heading to the Keppels. We've had the wind gusting up to 22 knots and um, we were on autopilot but Josh is now hand steering so it's just like making a bit. I think he was just saying before we had up to 11 knots. 11 knots, that's really fast for this girl, so pretty stoked. So we continued sailing to the Keppel Islands. We're gonna stop off halfway, but the weather is epic. So we set this bad boy up. How fast have you had a boat sailing today? 13.8 uh, going down a wave. Great Keppel Island. We smashed out 110 nautical miles in 17 hours. It was a long day, but it was great to get it over and done with. Over the next few days, we chilled out in various bays around Great Keppel Island and made the most of the sunny days. <laughs> Got tropical cyclone Gabrielle. She's come from Valuato and she's traveling around like that. She's gonna be a cat free. We're currently in the Keppel Island just around this area and it's gonna be just coming down like that at the moment. Got the yacht club in the background there. We got a bit of a low system passing by, not near, but it's going to be 30 knot winds, which normally means 40 knots to 50 knots gusts. Must, we must be into some weather, so we're going into the marina. We've got heaps of jobs today. We're going down the Narrows near Curtis Island. did Josh's favourite thing today, spending more money on a boat. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, no, it is stuffed up, which in turn stuffed up a battery. Um, so new battery and I've upgraded the alternator as well because the uh, old owner had the, uh, the bigger like 100 amp ones, which is cool. So I'm going to compare the, um, yeah, the old standard alternators to these new um, new ones which effectively kind of turn the engine into a bit of a generator and yeah see how they go so I'll let you know if it's worth worthwhile <laughs> <Where is it? laughs> once the experiment is complete where is the alternator oh, that's the new one it's like double, it's double the size isn't it well, it's bigger and then it comes with a separate 
uh, voltage regulator which you have to install and then possibly upgrade some cables as well cable sizes but um yeah more fun <laughs> right get back to work so it is an early start for us leaving the marina at Keppel Bay and Josh is in work mode early this morning we're heading to Narrows at Curtis Island so yeah we're bloody excited after spending a few days in marina waiting for the cyclone storm to pass and get some boat jobs done it was nice to arrive here at Sea Hill Point at Curtis Island. The scenery was stunning. If you hook on, you're probably going to go overboard. No! What are you catching up? I made a big barber. I made a big mackerel. A big mackerel. Oh, and we'll I'm going to eat it. Good morning from Pacific Star. Showers, 31 degrees. And it's already 11 o'clock bloody hot so we're heading down the narrows hopefully um we get to the other side without hitting a sandbar just leaving our anchorage only a few glitches with navy on at the moment when you heavily rely on using equipment to navigate especially in areas like this it's like reading zero knots zero knots i don't even have a line indication of what direction we're going so this one's working occasionally and they're not so having to rely on the rain marine a bit anyway but i don't know i calculated it about three or four times just to be sure so we are not getting stuck <laughs> so the shallow section Sometimes gets to two meters above um, sea level on the lowest astronomical tide, but uh, the research says just to use 1.6 meters for the um, the route that we'll be taking, which is basically following Navionics. Uh, so we're just 1.6 meters plus our draft of 1.1, uh, and our tide today is 3.38. So given that, we've, we're pretty good. And the other factor is you actually get about 20%. Um, more water in the, in the middle section there at the cattle crossing and around Boat Creek than what the Gladstone uh, tide chart says because of the, the water pushing into each other from both sides. So that's pretty good as well. So we should be smooth today. <laughs> Not sure, we will be sweet. Otherwise I'm feeding you to the crocs. We will be sweet. And we've seen a couple of crocs this morning swimming around the boat, that was cool. I do not fancy getting eaten alive from sandflies. I'll be calling in a helicopter to pick me and Zara up and staying in the hotel and you can sit it out, baby. <laughs> I think we'll just drop the anchor and just get someone to take us to the nearest hotel, nearest pub, if that's the case. Because <laughs> the boat will be there for a while. The tides are getting lower and lower every day. Um, I probably wouldn't have even attempted it tomorrow. But yeah, anyway, it's all good. See how we go. Got the marker out there of us entering the narrows now, so let the fun begin. Got the old Navionics is glitching on us, so we've got the Ray Marina's back up. It's just a bit of a pain because I gotta stick my head in and out all the time. But uh, I guess it would have been nice and easy just to have a look at that, see where we're going. But oh well, this is what we're used to. So we're approaching the lead just up here, lining up and heading straight for it. There's a few fishing boats out here today. In the cattle station here, there's a home set up on the hill and literally we would be sitting a metre in the dry. I've probably said that wrong and I'll have Josh whinging at me. But we'd be sitting high and dry at the moment with the cattle walking across. So we've got about three and a half metres to four metres underneath us currently. Hopefully it stays that way for uh, the time we're going through these bloody narrows. Scenery is stunning, but I can't believe cows actually walk across here. <laughs> here we go. Cattle crossing just here. So, you can come across from over there. So this shows how high 
The water gets damp. how close we are. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So we've got a fair few markers to navigate through. Um, but yeah, heaps of turtles around here. It's unreal. We're literally about three metres away from their mangroves. My butthole is so plucked up, so tight at the moment. And what's the depth? Uh, about 2.2 .2 at the moment, so we've got a metre under it. That current. So we made it through the narrows. No dramas had probably about 2.2, 2.3 was the shallowest of it. So there's an outbound ship here. I just radioed up and um, see what was going on. Yeah, so the Gladstone um, pilotage area, if you're transiting through, uh, if you Google it, there's a, um, like a small craft, uh, kind of a, a bit of a map, which kind of shows you the, uh, the best way to transit the area, just so you're staying out of the shipping lane. So we'll let them go past, and yeah, we'll um, transit straight across the shipping lane, get to our anchorage. We ended up dropping anchor at Rocky Point facing island for an overnighter and then headed to Bundaberg. And we're heading to Bundaberg. But yeah, sick little place. Apart from the local kids gone through your tender and trying to pinch shit. We helped some friends have their boat hauled out in some hectic wind and tide conditions. Any guess where I am today? Dead giveaway. <laughs> Yeah. So we've just driven down to Harvey Bay to pick up our new anchor wind. What have you been doing, Josh? Went in Harvey Bay. Yeah. Peace out, Galileo. Thank you.